feeling good because if they come back to Afghanistan, so we will have lost all of uh, these rights to go out or even go out. Pal Washa Hassan is the executive director of the Afghan Women's Educational Center. She's joining us now from Kabul. Uh, Pal Washa Hassan, thank you for being with us here on TRT World. So first, please just tell me your concerns for women's rights in the future of Afghanistan. Thank you very much. Um, I think the concern is very high and very clear. Um, those people who remember the Taliban time in Afghanistan, we know that women were totally neglected and uh, removed from public scene, and they were not. Uh, they were denied education. They were denied um, uh, mobility. Uh, several other basic human rights were denied to women in Afghanistan. And beside that, they were punished every day on the streets of Kabul and other provinces. Unfortunately, with Taliban, uh, where they have influenced women stoning. Uh, in some districts, we still have uh, uh, um, some uh, letters uh, distributed by women uh, activity to be closed. And that is the issue of concern for all women of Afghanistan, because we think we are equal human being and equal citizen of this country to make a change in this country and uh, to compensate for all the losses of last 40 years that we have been through this war. Uh, Ms. Hassan, uh, I wonder if you uh, and anyone in your group has had any discussions with the current Afghan government about trying to maintain women's rights uh, in the future. Of course, the Taliban are now claiming to control 85% of the country. Well, I, I cannot confirm that Taliban really have 85% of the country. Uh, and if that is the case for government or Taliban, uh, uh, for a percentage, 80% is a so huge part of the country. Uh, so they should uh, have been able to establish a um, uh, sort of governance. It is not just by seizing power. It is also providing services to the people. So I don't see any services so far provided by Taliban. Or, um, we also uh, are on constant contact with the government of Afghanistan that they should not let, uh, let down the women of Afghanistan and compromise on a peace deal which is uh, neglecting women's rights. We think women are uh, as much eligible and uh, should be part of the any peace deal and also future of the country. Uh, so neither the government of Afghanistan, neither Taliban should deny that right to the women of this country. Absolutely right. And I wonder then, uh, do you think that there is a role potentially in the future for the international community. Of course, all foreign troops will be leaving Afghanistan, and that's part of the peace agreement. But do you think that international groups can help protect women's rights in the future in Afghanistan? I think um, uh, international community can still do, although uh, what so far the peace process has been done in a, such a way that uh, there have been huge co uh, compensation and concession uh, to the Taliban instead of trying to protect the rights of citizens of Afghanistan who wants peace and end to uh, a conflict which is going for last 40 years. Um, this is very important that um, uh, that international community where their aid, their support to the government of Afghanistan uh, in the future will be still very important because Afghanistan is one country uh, which is so hugely dependent on foreign aid. So it's important that support be given to the government of Afghanistan and also uh, uh, in condition that support the women's rights and women participation in future of this country. Okay, Palwasha Hassan, uh, the director of the Afghan Women's Educational Center, thank you for being with us.